Hello colleagues, this is Aviva Stream and today we will talk about the entity of a lead and how we can work with it in Bitrix24. So a lead is a CRM object containing information like telephone number, email, website of a person or company who has the potential to become a customer, that is to complete a deal. A lead is the beginning of the process that the information contained in a lead may come from different sources from email, from a phone call coming into the sales department or just a like on your Facebook page. In simple terms, a lead is somebody with an interest in what you are selling. The interest is expressed by sharing contact information like an email ID, a phone number or even a social media handle. So how do leads appear in the CRM? There are three ways to add them. You can do it manually with the help of Add tab. You can import them. Or it can be done automatically with webmail and telephone integration, with CRM forms, open channels or website widget. Today we'll focus on the first one, on the manual addition of leads. After clicking on the Add tab, you'll see the empty lead card form. Fill it out with all the information you have about the person or company. So, give him a name, write the name of the person. You can add anything you have about the client. So it's necessary to add an email address or a telephone number, so for example. So give the email, website address. You can connect any messengers you have, like Facebook, Skype, Telegram, so whatever. Assign the source. So, for example, this lead may have come from the edit advertising. Yes. So, add some source information and select the responsible person. You, you may leave comments for anything you want, address, and any field there is here. All of the fields can be changed to your preferences and needs. You can edit them, you can add or delete sections, you can hide some fields or make them always visible by enabling show always option. So save the lead and it will appear in the CRM. So at the lead card, we can see several blocks. On the left is all the information you have about the client. So his name, email address, responsible for his person, so anything you have filled out. On the right, we have the history of communication with this lead and any changes you've given him. And on the top, we see the, <coughs> we see the statuses pipeline. So lead progress through the CRM can be easily tracked with the lead statuses. In our case, there are unassigned, assigned responsible, first contact, and up to the complete deal. Status can be set during new lead creation, imported as fields value, and changed when the lead progresses through the CRM. You can edit existing statuses here, so go to the CRM, then settings, then on the statuses and drop downs, select the needed fields. So they are, there are um, 
um, there are needed fields, so the initial status, it can be removed, and the final statuses. There are successful and failed ones. All of the in-between can be changed and added to your preferences. So let's move back to the read we have created. What is great about working with leads in the CRM is that you can do everything just from the lead card and keep track of all communications with your client. So you can write emails, you just write hello and send your email and the client will receive it. When it is read, it will be marked, and when the client writes something back, you will see this in the lead card form. You can call directly from the card, you can write messages, you can set tasks. So, just a regular task with responsible people, participants, deadlines, and it will be automatically added to this CRM object. As you communicate with your client, you change the lead status according to the current stage. So all of these changes will be seen here in the history of the lead. So don't forget that there is a document you can add directly to the client. So there are invoices, packing sheets, and all kinds of documents you may want to have here. You can add templates and create, it, and create them from the scratch right here. Besides the ordinary and usual list view, in Bigtrix24 there is a Kanban view. A Kanban is a visualization tool. You can create a new lead in already in the needed status. You can drag and drop leads between the statuses. You can do the same for the junk leads. So here we can see possible variants of an unsuccessful deal in red and a successful in green. You can also delete the lead. You can schedule calls, visits, meetings, or tasks without opening a lead card. You can send messages or make a phone call directly from here. If one of the buttons is not active, there is no such information added for this client or company. What's interesting is the repeat leads in Bitrix24. So suppose you have a new customer. The managers process the lead and create a new deal and contact. The deal is successfully closed and the customer is happy with the purchase. After a while, he wants to buy something else and contacts you again. Bitrix24 determines it as a repeat sale and creates a new lead with a link to the customer contact. Thus a message or call from a previously completed lead will create a new lead but already marked as a repeat one. This way you can make interesting offers to the customer and thank him for his loyalty. Repeat leads work for all communication channels, for calls, emails, CRM web forms and open channels. A repeat lead won't be created if the active link or deal is connected with the contact. In this case, a new message or call will be added to the current element. Betrix24 creates repeat leads by default. But you can go to the CRM and to settings. Here at others. And disable this option.
So though you can work with, without leads, just by using contacts and companies, leads provide an opportunity to track and process of communication with client, monitor the effectiveness of manager's work, build a sales funnel, and use many other cool features. So that's all for now. Thank you for watching. So leave your comments and likes down below. And I will see you soon. Bye.